Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hunter. I hope you all had a great vacation, a break, and you had a nice Christmas holiday season. I wish I could see you today, but we can't see each other yet, but I'll see you soon. So I'm going to show you this um, website. It's called Chrome Music Lab. I'll attach a link in the description of the YouTube video that I'm making. Or if you went to Google and you t typed in Chrome Music Lab, you would be able to find it. See, it says musiclab.chromeexperiments.com slash experiments. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this. There, All of these boxes, if you click on them, it takes you to a different um, experiment or musical activity. Some of them are better than others. There's certain ones that I, I like more than others. I have my favorites. I haven't seen every single one yet. Piano roll is kind of cool if you just want to listen to a song and see the notes written out in... In, this is called MIDI, M-I-D-I, Musical Interface, uh, Musical Instrument Data Interface. It's it's just musical information written in sort of like a computer style. Piano roll, though. Um, it's telling the computer what notes to play. I could change the sound of the keyboard by pressing. Sounds more like a piano now. I'm gonna, if I hit this arrow, it takes me to a different song. Oh, and this one, yeah, changes it. <laughs> I'm not even, okay, what happens if I hit this? Okay. So yeah, it's kind of neat to see. Ooh, Beethoven. Notice how you can see it visually. Long notes are a long straight line, and these three notes are being played together and held. And the shorter ones with the spaces in between, those are short notes. And the notes higher, these are higher notes, these are in the middle, and these are lower. So these notes are even lower. So yeah, so that's one thing you could check out. You could listen and try and see how the song sound with different settings. Uh, song Maker is a really neat one. Rhythm is okay. I, I'm going to show you some stuff in Song ma Maker. That's the main part of this lesson. Spectrogram is kind of neat. Again, it's like a visual with color and um, of different sounds. So I like the harpsichord and the wind instruments the woodwinds um you can also just draw a sound and it'll i think is that how it works that's kind of annoying sound uh harp as you can see the notes getting lower different colors it's pretty neat you could try what's this one Whistling. Uh, electronic drum kit. Drum machine. So yeah, so we've got all these different sounds. And you can see visual representations of it. With different colors. If I go to the, the microphone. Hi! Ya, 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 ha! See, it goes with the pitch of my voice. So that's kind of neat. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Song maker. So you can experiment and try different things. This one is also kind of cool. I'll just show you that one real quick. This is all about you make a sketch or a drawing. You can set the color to. There's three different color settings. And that'll change the sound. But if I draw something, and then the computer plays it, if I go... Hmm, 
that sounds very similar. You know, I don't know if, how much this is based on any kind of science. A lot of this, I don't know. I just, there's not a whole lot of variety there. There should be, though. Hmm. I think because I'm a lot of them start in sort of in the middle-ish. Let me try. Let me reset. It says you're going to lose it. That's fine. So I'm going to start. I'll do one up here. Oh, when you close it, yeah, I think it makes like a vocal lower. What happens if I... Yeah, every time you close it, you draw a closed picture, it makes a sort of a vocal sound. I'm just noticing that. What if I put like something in the middle? How would that sound? That's kind of cool. If you want to undo what the last thing you did, you hit that button. So and so I'm drawing it using my mouse, by the way. I'm pressing down and and then dragging it. So that's how that works. Okay, so that's Kandinsky. And let's take a look at song maker so this is one's pr this one's pretty neat um and this is so you can pause the video at any time and try any of these things out that i'm showing you this is all about you having time to experiment making different sounds listening engaging just trying different things okay and having fun and thinking about how your actions make different sounds and 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 just kind of going from there and going through a creative process. Um, okay, so here we've got this, the, these two rows down at the bottom with these uh, dots here. We've got like a grid. Okay, notice some of the lines are darker and some are not as dark. They're more faint. How this is a white and then these, this is sort of shaded in a, a bluish color and then back to white and then blue we are going to focus mainly on the bottom here for this video okay this would play different notes okay there's a lot we can do here the tempo this would speed up the song if i went that way or slow it down i'm going to leave it at 120 or, or, can't get it 121 okay so remember we did our food rhythms okay so this here, this, if we look at this line here and what's in it, okay, it's divided in half. We've basically, we've got one, two, right? But this strip with both of them, both of the two columns here together, this is beat one, okay? This is beat two. So this is beat three and beat four. So that's one bar of music. When we get to here, Notice how now it's a different color. This would be bar number two or measure number two. And there's one, two, three, four. So there's four beats in every bar. And then we're over here. We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got one bar, two bars, three bars. We've got four bars of music. I don't know what that is. We've got four bars of music. And we're going to, down here, <clears throat> excuse me, we can create a rhythm track, like a drum or per, some kind of percussion. This is, this would change the sound. Electronic blocks, a drum kit, conga, back to electronic, like a drum machine. Now, we only have two sounds right now. This would be the low, a low sound, which, and this would be... Uh, a snare, which is a bit of higher sound. So we can think, um, let's think about, let's see, a hot dog grape soda. Hot. I'm going to just do, and I can do either the bottom row here, which is the low, or the higher sound here. So hot dog grape 
soda. Okay, so this is hot dog grape soda. Let's hear that. I could just keep repeating that. What if I take... Now, if I want to get rid of something, I just click on it again and disappears. I'm going to make the, this one the snare sound. Hot dog grape soda. Soda, I'm going to make the snare as well. So I like that a lot. Hot dog grape soda. Hot dog grape soda. Let's hear it again. So I could repeat that again. Hot dog grape soda. Hot dog grape soda. So now we've got four bars of that pattern. If I want to speed it up, I drag on this. If I want to slow it back down. It was at 120 before. I can change the sound. I like the electronic kit. So this is the starting point. I want you guys to play around with this and I want you to understand the beat, how the beats are divided, okay? And um, not having it too random, okay? Where everything's just like, there's no uh, pattern to it. Patterns are good, especially in music because then we start to, we can follow along and then we understand, our brain kind of understands it better and there's more of a melody to it or something we can remember, which is what we like music that we can remember that has patterns in it. Okay. So now if I want to erase that, can I just undo it all? That would undo the last thing I did. So I'm just going to undo everything. I could, um, I, like, so you could pause and try and do that one that I just did. Hot dog, grape soda. Um, so you can, I encourage you to pause this at any time and experiment with the things that I'm showing you. Okay. So you could pause right now. Um, let's try another one. So hot, what do we got? Um, grapes, apple pie was another one. So apple pie. Um, hot fudge sundae. Apple pie, hot fudge sundae, apple pie, hot fudge sundae. So then I could just repeat that over and over again and try and get it the same. So you want to try and copy the same thing that you just did. So you can always go back and check. You can listen to it to make sure it sounds the same. We've got two circles and a triangle. Two circles, two triangles. So hot, uh, apple pie, hot fudge sundae, apple pie, hot fudge sundae. You might want to hear it slower. Let's slow it down a little bit. Okay, and then I would just try and copy it again. So apple pie. Sunday. Notice that the we took two food rhythms and put it together, right? But the uh, this is called the bass drum, the circle one. It's the same all the way through. It's always one beat, like bo on both the first eighth note and the second one, and then we skip, and then it's there again. So. There's lots more we can do with this, guys, but I want you to try and experiment with that. 
okay? You should be able to use this on whatever device you have, whether it's a phone, a tablet, a laptop, whether your, your device is Apple or Windows or something else. Uh, it, it should work. Um, no, I believe it works on everything. Okay, so have fun with that. You can try out some of the other things I showed you too, but try the, some different food rhythms. Um, and uh, yeah, just have fun. That's it for today.